There you go. So good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Alpi Mainville. I'm the Athlete Development Director for the OVA, and I am pretty uh, pretty happy to be here tonight talking to you. Um, it feels like it was uh, it was a lot of work. <laughs> we worked really, really hard on uh, getting everything ready for today and for tonight, and so it's just uh, it's just great um, to 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 be here. It feels like uh, over the past year, there's been a, a lot of things that have been canceled that usually we we kind of look you know forward to uh and so i feel like there was not a lot that uh that i've been really looking forward to like i've been looking forward to this uh in the past eight months so um so yeah pretty excited to be talking to you about the coach academy and uh so we'll go what we'll do tonight we'll go through a, a little presentation and then i will actually go into the coach academy and show you what it what it looks like and how it works and, uh, and then we're gonna get some questions. Um, so I have prepared a PowerPoint that I will actually use because I should, it's gonna help me stay on track. So, um, so yeah, so I will pop that up on the screen and then we'll, we will uh, we'll get going. So just to actually, um, as I do this, I'm gonna tell you about um, kind of how you can ask questions, essentially, um, I'm kind of on my own uh, today doing this. So uh, you can ask your questions in the chat and um, and then I'll get to them. Um, I'll try to get to them during the presentation, but I probably won't. Probably will be getting them at the end of the of the session. Okay. So uh, I will assume that everybody can see my screen here. So before we uh, actually get going, I have to, um, oh, this never works, okay. This works. Um, I have to mention that uh, pulling off this uh, this Coach Academy was really a group effort, and I want to thank uh, certain people before before we even get started. And uh, I want to give a special thanks to our uh, OVA Coach Committee. This is a subcommittee from the um, Indoor Volleyball uh, Development Committee, and um, so Caden, Erica, Sean, Dave, uh, Brenda, and Chris. A uh, big thank you for. Um, all the time that we spent talking about this and, and all of the ideas that you uh, that you gave us, the staff and uh, and the support uh, that we had from you guys in um, in getting this together, uh, putting this together, it was really really appreciated. And obviously, uh, our OVA staff. This was um, really a group uh, a group effort. Um, almost all of our staff got involved in this project uh, and will be involved over the next uh, years. Um, so that was uh, that was really uh, really really good. And, uh, and also a big thanks to the people who contributed some content um, so that we could launch with uh, stuff in the Coach Academy. And, um, and so uh, Pearl, Nick, Josh, Brian, and Kyle. Uh, Kyle and actually is, is, is team of grad students at the University of Ottawa. And that was awesome. And I also have to mention the contribution of our uh, 2020 Team Ontario coaches um, that also helped. So, um, so a big thank you to all these people. And... Um, and yeah, it would not have been possible to um, put this together in such a short time frame um, without them. Now, um, for some of you, I, I bet you don't even know what we're talking about. So, uh, so let's actually talk about it. Um, and uh, so we're talking about the OV Coach Academy. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about why uh, we, we, we created a Coach Academy. I'll tell you what it is. I'll give you a little tour of the platform and then uh, walk you through how you can access it. And then, like I said earlier, we'll take some uh, some questions. So, why create the Coach Academy? Um, this is a very good question, but um, it pretty much stem, stemmed from um, a bunch of needs that we that we could see. So, um, it was pretty clear when everything uh, started shutting down in uh, in March that. Um, you know, our staff, the athlete development staff, we were in the middle of, you know, just starting all of all of our activities with our um, athlete development programs and, and our performance programs. And so um, we, um, and so we decided that we needed to find a way to deliver our programs, um, even if we can do them in, in person, because we really felt that the athletes uh, needed to connect. Our coaches really wanted to connect. And so we decided to run Team Ontario online 
And uh, we were pretty successful at doing that. And we did that in July. And so as soon as we kind of launched that project and, and it started in July, um, we, we, we had a little bit of more time. <laughs> it was really a lot of time uh, and then all our work to kind of get that going before July. Uh, but then once July happened, we were kind of, we kind of turned our attention to the fall and we started thinking about, okay, well, how are, how are we going to connect uh, once we get to September? Because we could see that we would still probably be in the same situation where we cannot uh, do our regular activities, right? And we couldn't, and, and we thought we would not be able to connect in the uh, traditional ways, right? Like, which um, are usually getting to getting to the gym at practice or uh, at competitions when we see other coaches and stuff like that. And, um, and we really wanted to kind of address the need for connection um, at the level of our coach community. And so, so that was one of the things that we knew we wanted to uh, we wanted to do, and we could see there was a need for. And then um, the other need was that, you know, everything had been shut down for so long, and we knew that volleyball was slowly picking up, and that once the fall came, we would want to do some volleyball in some sort of way. And so we needed to make sure that our community was coming back to volleyball safely, and that there was information available um, for people to do that. Uh, because um, well, it looks different in different parts of the of the province, but not everybody is um, um, has access to the same information, and not everybody may um, is as comfortable and confident with running um, um, activities in the in the current context. So we wanted to have information on that, and then um, we knew that a lot of people would not have access to to gyms. We could see that. Uh, some school boards were, you know, announcing early they were not going to issue permits and that it was going to be an issue. And so um, we knew that uh, some clubs and coaches would not have access to a gym and have to train their athletes and engage them virtually. And we wanted to um, have resources available for coaches to do that, right? Um, so that you could, if you had to, um, put something together and then run a session on Zoom like this with your athletes to keep them engaged. And so we had all of the, um, all of these needs and it kind of, they kind of met uh, some opportunities. Uh, we learned about a potential grant with the Red Cross of uh, the Canadian Red Cross that we could potentially apply for. And so we knew that we had a chance there to, to realize a project with the help of that grant. Uh, we had staff that um, was not working on the same stuff as they were working before. And so we had more kind of uh, staff availability to work on a, on, a, on a bigger project, on a new project. So this was an important piece. And, uh, and then we also had content. So we had just created a whole program for Team Ontario athletes. And we also had a new program in the coach, uh, sorry, the Team Ontario Academy. Uh, where we had a lot of presentations that we did and we thought that these would be great um, great solutions, great presentations to share with our community in order to help you with the virtual training piece. And so, um, uh, and we also had developed all of these uh, return to play protocols. And so we felt like we had a lot of information that we could um, utilize to create some, uh, some great content and resources to help, um, to help the community. Uh, get back to uh, to volleyball, and so and so that's why we decided to essentially um, create a platform that would help us connect, right? That would help us connect. That would help us get back to volleyball safely, and we turned that into the project that we uh, proposed and suggested to the Red Cross in terms of uh, accessing the grant, and we were lucky enough to get it. So we we were awarded the grant, and were able to. Uh, get going with that project and that was about uh just over a month ago it was at the towards the end of september i think it was like 20th or something that we found out so just over a month ago we found out that we had the we had the grant and so <laughs> everything you're going to see tonight we put together in a month uh, so that's why i wanted to start with thanking everybody because you'll see it it was not the it was not a small feat um and so what is the coach academy well it is pretty much what I what I said, right? It's it's, it's a platform. Uh, it's a it's a website where uh, we're going to be able to share some resources um, with you 
and where you will be able to share some resources as well. It's a place for online coach education. Um, it's a place where you're going to be able to access some live events and know what uh, clinics and uh, coach development activities are available. And you're going to be able to find links to register for them through the through this coach academy. It's going to be a place where you can engage with others, where you can ask questions, where you can get answers to your questions, and where you can actually uh, make suggestions as well in terms of what content you'd like to see and what you want to learn. So it really is going to be a place where we can build a community of coaches, right? Um, in the past, we had we we did make some attempts at creating resources for coaches, and um, we would put them on our website in like a coach section. We would upload a couple of videos to our YouTube channel, and and that was pretty much it. It was a pretty it was pretty much like a one way um, a one way thing where um, our staff would find some resources and then we would make it available to you. Um, the goal with this is really to make it as um, collaborative as possible. Uh, we want this to be something that is, um, it, it's something that we facilitate as a staff, but it's something that you, you create, right? It, it, like you create the interaction, you create the value by being there, by asking questions, by answering questions, by um, sharing some cool things that you're doing. Right now, that may not be possible at a very uh, at a very beginning, and I'll get into that in a in a few seconds. Um, but um, it, what I mean is that it may not be possible for you to share like actual resources at the at the start. But uh, you'll have a chance to to get in uh, get involved and get and start engaging right away, uh, because again, we want this to be a community. So, what I was just talking about is that. Uh, in the first phase, and, and we're planning a couple of phases of this. So, obviously, right now we need to address the more the more um, important needs, and those are um, related to our return to volleyball and doing that safely and being able to engage our athletes. Um, I'm sure you've all seen this in a way or another, regardless of your situation, regardless of whether you train in a gym right now because you have access to courts or not. But this um, this situation is pretty tough on uh, on people and on in our on our youth and on young athletes, and they they really feel the need for connection, uh, and we see it because we do have we do follow a group of Team Ontario uh, elite athletes where they uh, they do a weekly health questionnaire and they kind of tell us uh, every week about how they're feeling and what's going on and do they have injuries so that we kind of know what's going on with them and uh and lately um it's been pretty um um pretty obvious that our athletes are struggling uh, mentally a lot of them are um reporting low levels of uh of, of enjoyment of what they're doing and um, and uh, higher level of stress and all that stuff. So we've actually seen a difference in the results there. And so we know the athletes are, um, are, are, are really needing to connect. So if we're able to do that on court and we're able to do it safely, that's awesome. You know, let's try to do that. Uh, if we can do that virtually by engaging them in like fun activities via Zoom or any other mean of communication, let's do that. And so, in the first phase of this platform, we're really gonna focus on that aspect. We're, we're gonna focus on making sure that people have access to the information they need to return to their courts safely. Um, we're gonna um, try to give coaches ideas of drills they can run that uh, are safe to run in the different stages. And, um, and yeah, so we're really gonna be focusing on that aspect. And, but because of that, I guess, um, we're, we're, we're going to, we're not going to allow, um, members to actually post resources and videos in the first place. And we wanted to do that just because there is so much, um, there are so many like restrictions and rules in place, um, that, that, that we kind of wanted to have a little bit more control over 
the recommendations for returning to play safely, um, just because we didn't really know what to what to expect and didn't want to have to um, uh, monitor uh, su suggestions um, that people could post on there. So we just wanted to kind of see how it goes and, and control this a little bit better um, in the first in the first phase, but. We are still opening up the forum, which is a place where you're going to be able to ask questions and interact with each other. And uh, for us, this first phase is going to be a way to see kind of how it goes, how are people engaged, how you know are people asking questions, are they participating in there? And so we're going to use this really to learn how things go so that we can prepare for the phase two. And the phase two is when we are going to open up um, I guess the floor or the, the, the platform for everybody to then start sharing their own content that they are, uh, you know, that you guys are going to produce. Uh, if you want to share a drill, a drill plan, um, something about how you teach a certain skill, you're going to be able to do that. And it's also going to happen in that second phase where the focus is going to be slowly shifting towards more of the uh, coach development stuff. So talking about skills, talking about drills, um, talking about um, systems, right, and all that stuff. So, you know, I'm not sure exactly how long we're going to be in that first phase, and, and we're going to kind of have to um, go with the flow and see how things uh, go with the current uh, pandemic situation, but, uh, but also how kind of this platform evolves. And um, I would really like at some point in the winter to get into our phase two where, um, you know, perhaps in uh, January, February, we can open it up and then people can start uh, posting their own their own stuff and we can actually up the engagement. Um, so uh, so that's a goal. But in, in the next couple of months, the focus is really going to be uh, on, uh, on that safe return. And so, um, you know, I'll show you, there's going to be a place where you can make suggestions and, and we'll be really, really happy to work with you if you have really great resources to share to kind of make them available, but they're going to be posted by us and by our staff uh, in the first phase. Hope that makes sense uh, to you guys and if not, we can uh, we can get some questions. So let's go on a tour and hopefully it kind of uh, clarifies things a little bit. <clears throat> um, where is my... Coach Academy, it's right here. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll have another sip of water. <clears throat> Not sleeping a lot in the last week makes you thirsty, apparently. So, um, yeah, so this is our Coach Academy. I'm going to make this bigger as so you can see it all. Awesome. So this is your dashboard. So when you when you get your invitation to, to join, you're going to join in. And this is where you're going to see, you're going to see, see the dashboard. And uh, I'll, I'll get to the dashboard in a second, but um, the, the, the first thing is, I mean, you're not going to go, you're not going to need to see this, but right here, there's like a, a welcome click here to learn how to use the uh, Coach Academy. This is what I'm going to do now. So um, you get the live version. If you want to see me explain it to you again, you can go and watch it, um, but, uh, but you won't have to. So the first thing that I uh, suggest you do is uh, you go in the, in the top right corner and um, Actually, <clears throat> your um, your platform is going to look a little bit different. So um, right now, you won't have this little uh, button here, this little pen, and you won't have this little paper clip. Um, but you will have the other three here. And you're obviously not going to have all of these. Um, this is because I have the uh, the admin of the of the, um, the platform. But you will have these two here, and these are the two we're going to look at. So the first thing that uh, that you should do when you, when you get on a Coach Academy is go to edit your profile, and you you can do that by clicking on that little top right corner, like I like I did here, right? Up, oh, edit your profile, perfect. This is going to let you enter some information about yourself. Uh, get, you're going to get to share stuff about your coaching experience, your playing experience. You can write a short bio. You can upload a photo of yourself. Uh, you can have some videos here if you have any videos that you want to share with people and put on your profile. And then you get to go in your experience tags and kind of like click the ones that um, that you're interested in or that you, ha you have experience in. Um, so, so make sure you set up your profile. Uh, you have a choice to make it public or not. Um, I'm forgetting where that is. I will get back to you on that. Um, and uh, yeah, so do that. And then once that's done, 
then you can go to your dashboard and then you can uh, you can personalize it. The way that you do that is um, is you're going to go back to, uh, to that admin section and you're just going to go edit dashboard. And what that does is it kind of allows you to move things around. So I can move this widget here and I can move all the ones underneath as well. So if you wanted to have the OV Twitter feed, uh, Twitter feed at the very top, you could just move it right up. Uh, if you don't want it at all, you can just deactivate it. All right. So okay, very simple. Sorry to interrupt you. Um, they can't see your screen. Actually. No, yeah. They can see the PowerPoint. So I have a white blank bar. Oh, thanks, Joanne. Sorry about That's that. That's good that uh, at least one person is unmuted. Oh. No, they um, <laughs> I know, and they were chatting it, so I was like, uh oh. That's great. I can't see the chat. So yeah. Um, so they can see the PowerPoint, and they can I can see a white blank bar. Can you see this now? I can see everyone in. The oh, room. I know what happened, Joanne. Okay. See, I should get more sleep. Um, that was my fault. That's okay. Go go for it now. Okay, thank okay. you. No, yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Wow. We'll have to edit the recording to take out that portion. Um, okay, let's pretend that we just got here. You can see my screen now. Yeah. Thumbs up. It's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Ryan. Okay, I'll start from the beginning. Um, this is your dashboard right here, like I was talking about. The little icon I was talking about here is that top right here where um, where you can click and you're going to see edit profile. So this is where you go to, uh, to edit your profile. Uh, once you click on this, you're going to see um, all of the sections that I was just talking about. Uh, so coaching experience, playing experience. So you can go through each step, save in uh, each section once you're done, and this will uh, create your uh, your profile. Now, once you're done editing your profile, like I was just talking about, um, when Joanne fortunately interrupted me, <laughs> uh, it would have been awkward for me to go uh, any longer like this. Um, you can, once you click edit your dashboard, you can move things around. Okay, so you can move these widgets around. And like I said, if you want to deactivate um, a widget, you can just click on the little green button here and it will uh, it will uh, deactivate it for you. So uh, that when you go back, right? So for example, here, I just took it off. So when I go back to my dashboard, Louis Pierre's favorites should not appear anymore. Okay, so if I go down, it's not there anymore. So. Um, so with this, you get to kind of like personalize what it's going to look like once you log into your account. All right. So uh, do that because you probably want to have a good experience when you um, log on to the Coach Academy. So do that first. And then once that's done, you can start exploring the different sections. And so I'll go quickly over uh, each section. <clears throat> and uh, I'm not going to go in too much depth because I want you to uh, take the time to go and explore the different uh, resources. Uh, but essentially we have different menu items here and this is how we're going to um, get around the platform so the first one we have is our most important one which is our return to play section in this one there are um there are two sections so videos and this one is simply a list of uh, it's essentially our return to play protocol turned into video so if you've read um, the protocol or if you haven't because you think it's too complicated, uh, you can go and you can watch these uh, videos and they essentially uh, summarize all of the information for you, okay? Don't, they don't replace the, the protocols themselves, but uh, they will give you really good information. So, if, um, so yeah, so that's a great, uh, a great place to start. And the second portion of the return to play section uh, that I just clicked on is adapted drills. And those uh, those are all of the um, ideas of how you can train the different skills in the different stages. All right, so you'll, you'll notice that uh, the blue ones are stage three and the green ones are stage two. So um, if you want um, you know, some inspiration for how you can train certain skills, uh, depending on your scenario, I guess, and, and your context, uh, this is where you find some ideas of drills. Uh, that you can safely run with your athletes these days. Then we have, I'm going to just yeah, close this. Then we have virtual training. And in virtual training, uh, I won't go through each of them, but uh, essentially, let's just look at uh, volleyball here. 
those are all the presentations and resources that you can use as a coach to get some information in order to uh, prepare you for a presentation with your own athletes. So if you want to run uh, presentations online like this with your athletes on setting, well, there you go. You have a presentation on setting right here that you can uh, that you can look at. And the cool thing about these um, these uh, resources is that we give you the PowerPoint. Okay, so I'll go in here. We give you the PowerPoint here that you can use, so it's ready to go. You can adapt it the way you want. But then we also give you the video of the original presentation. So if you kind of want to have some context around the PowerPoint and different slides, uh, you can go and watch the video. Uh, of the original presentation so that you have uh, yeah, a, li a little bit more information to share. So if you're a very experienced coach, you may be able to just use this presentation and just go with it. If you're a newer coach and, uh, and you don't have as much experience, you may wanna watch this video and get a little bit, a little bit of the, the context and the feedback from the presenter so that you can deliver each of those slides um, more confidently, right? Uh, so, we have this in volleyball. This is volleyball is the section where everything about uh, um, tactics and, and, and technical stuff is. Then we have a sports science um, section here with uh, nutrition, mental performance, strength conditioning, injury prevention, that type of stuff. Uh, we have our team building, which has uh, a couple of resources around uh, building teams and team culture. And in one life skill section, which is pretty much um, uh, this is like in line with the uh, Volleyball Canada at the development framework. It is one of their pillars. And we were kind of looking for a term for our catch all section. And we decided to go with this one. So um, everything that doesn't really fit in those first three will end up in this one. So that's, uh, that's for those resources to help you um, connect online with your athletes. And then we have the webinar section. And this section is actually the one that's most closely related to, um, I guess, your your personal coach development in terms of learning more about the game and about certain skills and about um, about drills. And this has all of the webinars that we've run in the past few years. So all of the recordings of those webinars are here. They are all in the full webinar sections. There are uh, over 30 of them in there right now. And the ones that we have this week are going to be posted here as, uh, once they're recorded as well. So you can go in there and actually click on one and, and you can watch the entire thing. But if you're like me and um, perhaps like watching a one hour webinar, um, you, that doesn't really work in your, in, in your day and in your calendar, you can go straight to this section here, which is search webinars. And this is a really cool feature that... Um, that, uh, that we got there. Um, I got this one from uh, uh, Brian Singh, um, who uh, actually shared this idea with me. So thanks, Brian. Uh, this is a little tool that allows you to search. So if you're interested in learning, you know, in, about transition, transition attacking, for example, and you want to consult our bank of 30 plus webinars and see what expert coaches have to say about it, you just go here. You're going to type transition click enter and this will bring up all of the webinars in which transition was mentioned and so if you're interested in hey you know I was really looking for transition in the context of a you know of a, of a dig and what do we do with the ball afterwards sounds like this could be it uh, you just click on it and it's going to play you the video exactly at the spot where it talked about transition so it's pretty awesome and will help you save some time. So instead of kind of going through the entire webinar, uh, you can search um, by keywords and try to find the information that you're looking for. Uh, so a really cool feature here that um, I hope you will, uh, you will enjoy. So that's for webinars. And so those three right now, only, um, only our staff and assigned people can post to those. So this was what uh, I was mentioning earlier. And these are the, the sections that we actually want to open up um, eventually. Um, actually, we want to create more sections. We want to create more sections for all of us to be able to share. Um, but for now, only staff can post here. This is where uh, the forum section here, this is where um, 
you, you, you can engage with other people right now. And uh, we only have a couple posts right now. Um, as of today, there were uh, three posts. We have our forum guidelines. I encourage you to uh, read those. Um, this is where we kind of go over, you know, kind of a, a code of conduct for engaging on the Coach Academy and in the forum. So uh, read this. Uh, it would be a good idea to, um, to do that. And, uh, and then we have a couple more. Uh, one was just kind of a test that we did here at the bottom. Uh, but I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. So please go in and, and contribute to that forum. But this one here is the one where I want to draw your attention to. This one is where we want to collect your suggestions. So like I said, we are um, going to be in that phase one for a couple of months, but we want to prepare and for, for phase two. And we also want to... Uh, be able to bring to you what you kind of what you want to see, what you want to have in this platform as soon as possible. So in here, please go in, in that post and respond to this question here. It's pretty much, what do you want to see? What do you want to learn about? What would be cool? What would make you want to come on this platform to watch, to learn? And make your suggestions. And we're going to do our best to accommodate uh, your needs and um, and find, find the answers to the questions you have and, and, and provide you with the content that you wanna see on there, okay? Uh, and this is gonna be for, for kind of the time being. When we open it up to everybody, uh, well, this is a process that's gonna kind of happen organically where uh, in some of your conversations, you'll mention a skill or something and then someone will say, hey, I have a drill for this or I have a video for this and something like that. So, um, so it, will, it will kind of happen organically at that point, but for now, we really wanna kind of get ready for uh, for that transition to phase two and we would love to have your feedback okay lastly we have the events and the events is where we're going to post all of the live events that we have so right now we have the five webinars that are coming up um so this week actually tomorrow we have jen nielsen on wednesday we have brenda and on thursday i'm back uh with um something that uh, i don't know like, I don't know if it's going to be as fun as this. Um, I really, I'm really uh, stoked about this project right now, but I think principles of play are going to be sweet too on Thursday. Um, I'm going to plug myself there and see you on Thursday, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is where we're going to have our events. So when you click on one of these, you have the link to register. Pretty simple, right? And, and straightforward. Uh, yeah. So I want to stay here actually, uh, because all of the resources are pretty much created the same. And all of the resources have these little buttons here that you see, okay? And I want to tell you a bit about these buttons now that we're done going through the menu because there are buttons that will help you personalize your experience in the Coach Academy. So if you click favorite, if you click like, you're able to actually find those resources faster, okay? So for example, if I go to virtual training and I go to uh, volleyball, Okay, and um, I go to here, all resources, and I go and click my favorite. It's gonna pull all of the posts that I click favorite on, right? So those are all the ones that I, I did. I just did that just for the purpose of this webinar. Um, but uh, yeah, so you could see, so then you could, by doing that, you can kind of save some of your favorite posts so that you can have uh, a quick access to them. Right now, there are about there's just over a hundred resources on the on the on the site right now, so that may not be that many that you know stuff will get lost. But as we keep posting more and more, once we get to two, three, four hundred on there, uh, you may want to have some quick links to your favorite uh, videos and resources. So uh, that's a good way to do that. You can also, to another level, uh, click on like. I don't know which is better, like or favorite. Like I don't know, but you can decide what it is for you. Uh, and you may decide that you want to store different kind of information in, in both those things. And again, you can uh, click on like and my likes, and it will take you to all the posts that you liked. Um, my follows here. So this would be, so if I go to, I'll show you here. So if I go to sports science and I go to, um, to Nick, okay, so Next, uh, next stuff here, and I click on his on his name. I need to go to his profile. Now he hasn't updated his profile yet, but I can follow him, 
And when I click on this little star here and follow Nick, every time that he's posted something, I'm gonna get a notification about it. And so if I go back to one resource section, or actually I could have clicked on that little star here. If I go to my follows, then I'm gonna find all of the posts that Nick did, okay? So another cool way to kind of keep track of the content that, that certain people are posting. Now, for uh, for now, it may be limited because only a certain number of people are allowed to post, but when we open it up, that's gonna become a really important and useful feature. Last thing, uh, and you can do use this one now, and I would encourage you to do it, especially if you're in a role of a technical director, you work with other coaches, uh, you can bundle stuff, okay? So for example, let's say that um, I'm working with other coaches or I'm a head coach and I have assistant coaches and uh, I can't go to practice or I'm not available uh, to run activities with the team next week. And uh, I say, hey, uh, assistant coach, I would love for you to run activities with the team, but uh, here, uh, here are a couple of resources that you can look at in order to, uh, to run your sessions. You can bundle activities, uh, bundle posts. So let's say I want my assistant coach to work on shoulder on a shoulder maintenance program. I can click on bundle here. And I've already created a couple, but I'm going to create a new bundle to show you how it works. So I'm going to say create a new bundle. And I'm going to call this one next week's practice. I could write some notes here for, uh, for my assistant coach, but I won't here. I'm going to click save and next. And there's an error. Perfect. I don't think they want an apostrophe in here. Perhaps. Oh, it worked. <laughs> don't put apostrophes in the name of your bundle. Um, so, so once you create it, you can go back and you can add anything else. So, okay, I wanted to have a shoulder maintenance program, but I also want to uh, see the athletes work on uh, secondary setting. There you go. I'm going to go here, bundle, and it adds it to my bundle here. And when I'm done putting um, posts in my bundle and resources, I can just open it and I'm going to share it. It's just that simple. So I'm going to go edit. So, so I go back to that, that, that page here, share bundle. And now I have a link that I can share with another coach who's a member of the Coach Academy, and they will have access to this bundle and they'll be able to see exactly what resources um, I'm suggesting they take a look at, right? So you won't have to kind of like find each link and perhaps you just, you know, you sent the link to the wrong one or you use the wrong name and they can't find it, whatever. Uh, this is an easy way to share um, a, a kind of a playlist of, of resources, all right? Um, yeah. So, so that's how you do these things. Uh, lots of ways that you can um, that you can interact with the content, and uh, and that you can use it to to share. So, uh, so yeah. So that's the Coach Academy, and obviously this is just a start. Like I said, we have just over a hundred resources, uh, but we're gonna keep adding uh, on a weekly basis, uh, just so that we can keep supporting you. And then as soon as possible, we're gonna open this up to everybody, so that we can really create a community that we're that we're. Um, that we're looking to create here with uh, with all of you. Uh, oh, last thing is chats. Okay, so let's go. Let's go here. All right. So there, there's a, there's a function here where you can actually chat with the coach. Okay. So if I wanted to chat with Nick, who produced, who created this um, this resource, I can just click on here. This little message, uh, this little bubble here, and I get to have a private conversation with Nick. All right. And so that's a great way again to connect and especially connect with people that you may not know, uh, you may not have the email to. So, um, so yeah, so you can definitely use this. So that's why also it's important to go in and create your profile. Uh, if, if you want people to be able to reach out to you and have conversations with, with new coaches, if you want to meet, if you want to meet people. Okay. So that's that uh, for the coach Academy platform. Uh, and again, as we make updates, we will update you and then have other of these sessions to show you how uh, new features work. Mm, there you go. 
Okay, so quickly now to finish, we can take some questions. Uh, how to access the Coach Academy? It's pretty simple. Um, all members with a coach or technical director role have access. So today, an invitation was sent to about uh, 390 coaches that were registered in MRS. So if you're not registered as a coach or technical director, uh, go in, uh, go in MRS and get your um, your membership. Now, um, we say coach and technical director, but if you're a club contact uh, or you're a club president, you have a different type of membership and you want access to this, let us know. Um, mo mo most of you guys who are in these roles also have another role as a coach, but if you don't and you have like only a, a role as a club contact or or club executive, let us know and, and we'll uh, and we'll put you in there. Um, we just know that the majority, the vast majority of the people who will access this have a coach role uh, or technical director role. Uh, so yeah, so register the people who were registered as of this morning, uh, like I said, got invited. And then uh, we'll check every day for new registrations. Uh, and, um, and, you know, so if you register, for example, on, a, if you register tonight, um, we will check tomorrow. And, you know, this week, we're probably going to do it on a daily basis. But um, just, uh, just to prepare for anything that could happen, we're saying that um, after you register, you will get access to the Coach Academy within four, uh, two business days. Um, so, uh, so that's our commitment to you. So go register, and then you'll uh, you'll have access to it. Okay, uh, and just follow the instructions. Like I say here, you really need to use the email that um, that you registered in MRS with, because that's the email that we use to send you the invitation, and then that's the email that's in the system, and that will give you access to it for free. Okay, um, and that's that that that's, that's an important thing that I should have mentioned earlier, is that um, the um, yeah that all coaches and all um, our technical directors will have access to this platform uh, for free. So um, that's really thanks to the, the Red Cross grant that's, uh, that's partially supporting this, uh, this project. And that is helping us, um, you know, with, uh, especially with the cost of your membership uh, to make this, uh, this free for you to, uh, to access. Um, so yeah, so we're pretty, pretty happy about that. Last thing, oops. Where is my, excuse me, little Zoom problem here. Windows popping up. Um, yeah, in conclusion, enjoy the resources and the content. Participate in the forum, right? As much as you can, give us your suggestions and return to available safely. And while doing that, well, please help us grow our coach community because it, uh, it would be awesome to all get to know each other and share with uh, with one another, because that I really believe, just like it was the case with the coach committee when we had our discussions, that uh, that this type of uh, collaboration uh, can really help us individually, um, growing and getting better, and that if and and if we do that, the collective result will be that um, you know we're just going to produce better and better athletes and and happier athletes as well in uh, in Ontario. So uh, so yeah. Um, I'm ready for some questions at this point, if there are any. And I'm gonna do this and stop sharing. And I'm gonna look at you and answer some questions. So I see that uh, I'm just gonna go through the chat. I don't think there's that many. Um, clarify membership status, I just did. Uh, I can't see your screen. <laughs> okay, fix that. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, if anybody has a question they would like to ask, like um, you know, speaking to me here through your mic, just raise your hand. I'll try to find you, or let me know in the in the chat, and I'll open the mic to you. Um. Okay, so um, if you're from outside of the uh, of Ontario, so I have a question here from from Joseph. If you're not from Ontario, um, technically, if you just register as a member, you can have access to it. So uh, I guess that would be my answer for now: is uh, get the membership, and then you will have access to it. And so, um, so that'll be the cost for this year. To be honest, we didn't really look um, further than our membership. 
um, as we were putting this together right now. We have talked about uh, in the future looking at opening this up to other people potentially, if if that makes sense. But um, for now, we didn't. Um, so so yeah, just just get your membership. Uh, you can have uh, you can do that through our OVA website. You have all the links there. Uh, so so yeah, that would be my recommendation. Um, okay, so Patrick asks, uh, I'm listed as an assistant coach, but I don't think I received any kind of link to Coach Academy. So if you're registered in MRS as an assistant coach, you should have gotten, should have gotten uh, an email today. If you haven't, please check your junk mail. Please make sure you check the email that you have on file with, with us in MRS. And if you still don't see it, there could be two reasons for it. Um, it didn't work, <laughs> in which case uh, you should email us. And we will um, we'll try to send you another invitation. Second reason is that we ran a quick check today on all of the coaches that were registered. And um, for those who are not aware, uh, we have a new coach eligibility policy this year where coaches have to have completed a, a couple of modules before they can register as coaches in the OVA. And so there were a few coaches for whom we could not find any NCCP number, which meant that they did not have a locker account, which meant that they could not have completed the mandatory modules. And so we are going to contact these coaches tomorrow. Uh, so perhaps you're in that list of coaches who haven't completed the modules. Um, if that's not your case and you still can't find anything, just email us, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Um, how much is a membership? I have Joanne on the line still. 89, someone at club admin here. <laughs> I think it's uh, $89, somewhere around there. Uh, I should know this. Um, that includes the Volleyball Canada one, by the way. That's uh, that's both. 80, 84, 84, 11, thank you guys. I love you guys. You're awesome. Um, I clearly, uh, yeah, I have not registered um, a bunch of coaches uh, in MRS in a long time. Um, yeah, so that's it. This uh, recording, if you want to rewatch this, if, I don't know why you would do that, but uh, I mean, um, you can. It's, uh, it's available. It's going to be available. We're going to put it up uh, tomorrow. Uh, this one we'll put it on our website. The other ones, all of the recordings from the webinars that we're uh, doing uh, this week and next week, they're all uploaded on a Coach Academy. So if you want to have access to those, you really need to connect. Okay. Uh, but don't hesitate. Email me. And we'll have on our website also information about uh, who you can email for questions. But uh, we'll have, uh, obviously, uh, many staff working on this that can help you. So we hope that uh, that you enjoy this and that you will, uh, yeah, that you will enjoy. We, we really want uh, to kind of work with you. Like, I'm, I'm super excited because I feel like it's just been us working on this now for, for weeks and I just can't wait to go and answer some questions and ask questions. And yeah, I think it's going to be pretty exciting. Um, so, so yeah, thanks for joining guys. Uh, I'm just uh, looking here. I don't know if, uh, oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, so I, I have nothing else really to say other than um, have fun on the Coach Academy. I hope that everybody is doing well and that you're finding ways to, to get out there and get in the gym and connect with your athletes. And hopefully the resources that are there will help you. Uh, and yeah, we look forward, we look forward to get your suggestions, guys. Thanks, everybody. And uh, have a great rest uh, of evening. And we'll talk soon in the Coach Academy.